I'm Andy Kaufman, host of the People and Projects podcast. Tonight we wrapped up a leadership development program in-house at a company. We called our Leadership Fast Track program. And I gotta tell you, it has just been a fun program. We've been meeting for the last eight months, one time each month, going over a specific topic. And tonight was the graduation. And I gotta tell you, this means so much to me because these people have invested so much. But we tried something new today. One of the things we did was, instead of just congratulating the people that finished up their program, we also invited family members. Because not only did the participants you know, sacrifice, the fact is, the way this particular company ran it, was it was after their work day, and so other people sacrificed as well. And so it was fun to be able to celebrate. And there's potentially, potentially an idea there for you, that when you're celebrating people on your team, is there a way to include other people in that? You know, it was fun. We had even like a four-year-old, somebody brought their really young, some brought their spouse and others to celebrate. A couple people brought their mom. It's to celebrate together. It actually made it extra special. But you know, one of the reasons I'm sharing this with you tonight is not even just about that program, but it is what are you doing? Whether it's a formal program like this that they brought in or just informally, what are you doing to develop yourself as a leader and the people around you as leaders. And the message I left with them at the end today is something that I wanted to just share with you. And that is, you know what? There is a leadership vacuum. Maybe you see that at your company. You certainly don't have to look around too far in the world to see it. There is a leadership vacuum in this world that is waiting to be filled. What could you do to fill that, and this, this is why I ask it, is because the world beats a path to people who get things done. There have been some people in this program just over the last eight months who've gotten promoted. I'm not saying it's just because of the program, but it's, it's because they're applying what they're learning. They, I want to be a better leader. And one of the things we challenge them all throughout, and I'll challenge you at this as well, is you don't drift to become a better leader. You don't drift to become a better project manager. You don't drift towards building relationships with people. It's something you have to be intentional and strategic. And one of the things I love hearing from people on the People and Projects podcast is how you listen to the episode, maybe you buy the book of whoever we're being interviewed, and you're applying it. The world needs you as a leader. Keep just intentionally building yourself as a leader. The world needs you. Leave a comment. What's your thoughts about that? What are you doing to develop yourself as a leader? Leave some practical ideas of what you're doing. And not only for yourself, but for the people on your team. What are you doing to build leaders around you? Love to hear from you. Have a great one.